sent various messages and emails asking, where can I get parts and accessories for my Royal Enfield here in the U.S.? Well, there are a few places that I've gone over, but they really deal in older models. And you can retrofit some of those parts like I did with the uh, handlebars on Fieldy. But then again, it's not particularly for the Classic 500s, uh, with the UCE engine, or any of the modern bikes. Well, Western Cycle Supply is right here in the U.S. And they are one of the best companies that I've come across online. Uh, you can get accessories, aftermarket parts, uh, stock parts, you can get used parts from them as well. Now they have sent over this kit, and this kit has been asked about and talked about various, various times. This is the headlight kit, to take it from the smaller headlight uh, that's adjustable that we see mainly here in the U.S. to the 7-inch headlight which is a much better look and a much better fit. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what is inside this kit. The first thing included is the outer ring. Let's go ahead and pop that out of there. And as you would expect, is the outer ring. It has its retainer clips. Okay. The next thing we have is the inner ring and all the associated hardware. I'm going to pop that open. Okay, we've got the larger inner ring, the larger diameter. We've got the W clips, the fasteners. We also have the retaining hardware. And lastly, we have the headlight assembly itself. Now before we take this kit out and install it on Fieldy, there's a little bit of setup that has to take place first. Uh, let's go ahead and put the outer ring and the headlight assembly itself together. On the inside of the outer ring, you have this little beveled stepped edge with a rivet right here. Okay, and you have these little tabs here. This little stepped beveled edge is going to be your bottom. So you're going to place that down facing you, and you're going to look at your headlight. You're going to make sure that it is even and straight. You're going to place the bottom right at that beveled stepped edge. I'm going to push it into place. Keeping the tabs out of the way. Alright. Once it is in place and everything is even, you're ready to install your W clamps. When installing the W clips, it's very important uh, to hold pressure on the opposing side and then work the W clip in. And this little lift area goes over the edge of the headlight itself. Uh, a lot of people say that you're supposed to sit it on this shelf here. This little flat area of the clip itself should be sitting on this flat area here. There's six of those and there's six clips, but I find it easier just to put it on the inside edge. It holds it just the same, and it could be very. It can be very difficult to put them on, and I have broken a headlight by putting them on this little stepped area here. Uh, once you have two installed, one on opposing sides, then you can go ahead and install the rest. But you have to keep pressure on the opposing side so that it doesn't slip up and the the clip will move. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install one of these clips. You take your clip and you put it in place there. Okay, It just sits on the inside edge of the headlight on the outer rim. Okay, 
right there on the outer rim. So you turn it sideways and get one side under that edge right there. Get it under the edge. And a lot of people uh, use needle nose pliers and things. Uh, I usually just use my fingers. Uh, it can be difficult that way. That's just the way I've always done it. You grab the end with your finger and pull it down. It'll go right into place. And it does take a bit of pressure, so it, it leaves a little indention or what have you, uh, but it's not that bad. All right, let's get the rest of these installed. We'll be ready to put it all together. Really quick, I wanted to show you all of the clips installed. And the way I do it is these little, re these little raised areas of glass here, I go in between those and I put two between each. So you have two here, two here, and two here. The next step in our pre-assembly is the inner ring itself. If you go around the edge of the inner ring, you'll find there's a recessed area right here. That is going to be the top. And that is where the retaining hardware is going to go. So we're going to place the retaining hardware in that little recessed area with the beveled edge going up. Beveled edge up. Okay. Put that inside there. And we take our screw and we thread it in. We don't want to tighten it all the way down. We want it to be able to hang below that lip right there. Just like that. That way the outer ring can slide over it and then we tighten it down and it holds everything in place. Now the biggest difference between the five and three quarter headlight that comes stock on the US imports, uh, besides the size, which you can see here fills up the whole ring is these two holes here it is fully adjustable with a screw turn here you can direct the beam and here because some states require that so check your local laws and things like that your statutes and make sure that you're good to go first thing we're going to do is we're going to go around the inside ring and we're going to remove the screws that hold it in place. And the one down here on the bottom for the outer ring. Once the bottom screw for the outer ring is out down here in the bottom is lift up, it should just pop right off of there. Then you've got full access to the light itself on the inside and the outer ring. So we're going to reach in behind our headlight. We're just going to work it out because it's being held in with these three screws here, okay, as well as the frame. It just pulls right out just like that. We look in the back, and we've got our connection. Let's go ahead and pull that off. And that's really all there is to removing uh, the five and three quarter. And on the inside, if you look, you can see all the retaining pieces, and there's actually springs in here that move whenever you adjust the tension on these screws here and here. That's what directs the beam of the light. Now we take our new outer ring and the securing mechanism there in that recessed area, that little cutout part, that is our retainer for the outer ring. So we're going to put that on the top and if you notice right here at the top there is a little slit and that is where that screw right there is going to slide into. So we just need to loosen it up a little bit to make some room. Just slide it into place. Okay. Now we put in our two screws that came with the kit in these two areas here. Now that we have our 
inner ring secured. We take a look at the outer assembly, the outer ring and the light itself, and there's that stepped edge I was talking about. It's going to go into a slot right here in the inner ring. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug our assembly in. Then we work that little stepped edge up into place. And then we push it onto the whole assembly itself. Now, we simply tighten our retaining screw up here at the top. And we are good to go. It is perfectly on there. Now we just clean up the chrome and we are ready to test. As you can see it's a much better fit and a much better look for the bike. There's your lows, there's your high beam. It suits the bike better. It gives it the retro look, it makes it look vintage, it looks uh, period correct. It is a much better option. It looks fuller and it doesn't look like look like something's missing. It's it's not like the five and three quarter where it's smaller than the outer rim. It just really didn't make any sense for that to look like that. It really cleans up the look of the bike. There you have it, guys. The seven inch headlight conversion kit from Western Cycle Supply. It's an excellent, excellent product from a U.S. distributor. So you can get light kits, you can get used parts, new parts all kinds of accessories, tail lights, what have you. I'm going to leave a link to Western Cycle Supplies website in the description below. Also, there is a discount code set up for you guys. It's CARD25, C-A-R-D-2-5. That's going to take 25% off of your order. 25%. Go on over there and check them out. All right, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And since you're down there, you might as well subscribe. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.